everything we do has a spiritual component to it, right? Like, I think the church is addicted to the outward show of things. And so we have really pop, we have really great prayers before our concerts and, you know, we get everybody together and we do the spiritual thing and we make everything overly spiritual. Hey, the Satan's going to attack this thing tonight. I don't think, I don't think the, the, the spiritual warfare that we face is Satan attacking a show. I think the spiritual warfare that we face is anytime you put yourself on a pedestal, anytime you have a message that is kingdom related, the entire world is against that message. The culture, I mean, the culture of our world is, is selfish and, and it is get for yourself and do all these things. And I think this, the real spiritual warfare that we face is the quiet moments when we're trying to tell ourselves how great we are and how we're, how we're trying to position ourselves or compete with other bands or compete with worship, honestly. And a voice is trying to tell us you're not good enough or you're this or you're that, or you're trying to tell yourself that you're better than somebody. Those are the moments I think are, are literally the most dangerous. It's not, it's not being on stage. I tell people all the time, I get called, and I think all of us in this industry, we get this all the time, you're so anointed. And I would literally look at people and say, are you sure I'm just not talented? Because the reality is whether God was with me or not, he gave me the ability to sing this song, right? And I've, I know people that are in terrible spots in their lives. They're not living like Jesus at all, but they're incredible singers and they move you. And it's, it's just one of those things where I like, sometimes our world is so fixated on the goodness of how it sounds or something. And uh, that, that just makes us go, oh, I must be, I must be anointed. Right? I must, I must be special. I must be. And the reality is there's the beauty of the kingdom is that he gave us talent. And when we use that talent to, to move his kingdom, there's power in it. Right. But I could still do those things, even if I wasn't Jesus focused, because I have the ability to do it. That's what talent is. And I think as a church, we're, we're always tricked into thinking people are so great just because they're good at something. <laughs> and that is a spiritual warfare, right? For, for me, for those people, there's just this, we just have to be very careful. We, we live in a culture, especially in our Christian world, that just like secular world, we elevate stages. That's what we love to do. We put our worship leaders on stages. We put our, everybody on a platform. That's dangerous. I mean, when in a kingdom where our worth is the same, we have different talents, but we have the same worth. When you're elevating people all the time, that's a dangerous culture to be in. And that, to me, that's the spiritual warfare.